birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Apollo. Happy birthday to you. Come here, boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hello, no Taurus. Welcome to your general and love oracle tarot card reading for July 2016. The video you just saw is our dog Apollo and um, he's the one that was having problems with finding a place to live because he's considered an aggressive breed but he's just one big baby. He just turned four years old. Yep, he's a cancer. And um, you know, I was asking Spirit a few days ago like what are the messages you know through Apollo and actually Apollo led us to a place that he was accepted that has wonderful energy so we're so grateful with that anyways I wanted to share him with all of you and uh, let's get on with your reading well here I'm getting a message that patience is needed I'm getting something that is across it's either across country or it is out of the country and I'm feeling like there's been some disappointment in regards to perhaps work or maybe bringing over family um, to visit or perhaps live with you. Uh, something was delayed or didn't go through. Or I'm getting like the right papers were not um, properly filled out. I'm also getting that there is a relationship too that is either cross country or out of the country it's a long distance relationship. There has been some arguments upside down, you know, all around a uh, situation going on here. And um, I, I feel that the two of you want to be together. Maybe this is immigration papers uh, so that the two of you can be together. And this, you know, it was either denied or there's some issues going on with the papers itself. Maybe someone doesn't have enough income uh, for your um, spouse or your friend to come over to where you live um, or you going to them. Uh, now back on the work that I see, I see this is traveling. I see this is overseas, or at least it's near water. I'm, I'm feeling that there's some issues with this company, and uh, maybe even issues financially. But I do feel like it's going to straighten itself out. Uh, Spirit is giving me some dates. I'm getting July 6th, July 20th. July 28th. These are high power uh, days here. And what I mean by high power is there, it's high energy. This is a good time to manifest or maybe, um, you know, put all you have into it on these dates that I have given you. Taurus, also, it, it doesn't reflect any of the other dates. The other dates you can do just as well. It's just these significant dates that Spirit just gave me are days that you want to manifest now this could be negative or positive it really depends upon you okay depends upon where you're at what's your vibration are you being negative are you being positive so um i'm getting on one of the dates that i gave you that this particular situation where you're traveling for work I feel that it's going to smooth itself out. I don't know why the UK came to me. Uh, feeling like maybe the decision of the United Kingdom uh, not being part of the European Union, because uh, I'm getting this as an international company, may have something to do with this feeling of being upside down and unsure where you're going here. Uh, so, but it is going to turn out okay. I got the number three, and so this is the three of wands here. I'm feeling like it's three months from now that this is going to straighten out, but I feel like you need patience. Even with this long-distance relationship, you need to have patience. Um, it, too, will straighten itself out. There is a divine timing for this, okay? And so the other message I'm getting here is... 
some of you would make actually wonderful spiritual teachers. Maybe you're learning Reiki uh, or shamanism or energy healing, chakra healing. Uh, I just feel it has something to do with healing. And, or also I'm feeling, as I got that message came in really quick, that some of you may actually be coaching with a spiritual teacher or healing with a spiritual teacher. And um, I, I really feel like it's the right time. So if you're not doing that now, perhaps this is something you might want to do in July. And I'm also getting to a few of you maybe teaming up with some psychic readers uh, to help you along with some of your issues, um, which I'm feeling are financial and also related to love. Okay. Well, I am feeling the need to, like maybe some of you are going to study herbology or health science. Like I'm getting a really good energy too for something in the medical field, pharmaceutical. Okay, I'm gonna see what other messages come through here on, on this. You know, remember they are many readings. Okay, I'm gonna pull some love cards. What are the messages, Spirit, for Taurus, July 2016, regarding love? I just heard spirit call out Lucy. I don't know if there's a Lucy that's going to listen to this video. What are the messages for Lucy? I, I'm getting a relative here that's crossed over. Wait, I got to get this message in. Well, Lucy, it seems like there has been some problems. I feel like you've been overstressed. And uh, what the message is here is your loved ones. And I'm feeling like this is either a grandmother or a mother. And also accompanied by an aunt that is actually hearing your prayers and sending you love, light, and peace. And they want you to have faith. There is nothing on this planet that should make you sick. If it makes you ill, please walk away from it. There will be something else for you. Okay, it's really not worth jeopardizing your health for the stress that you're going through. And now I'm getting a lot of messages here, but this is not this kind of reading spirit, so let's just go ahead and focus on love. Well, Taurus, this is an opportunity. July is an opportunity for new love. I'm also, too, getting ones that who are already in love. Uh, I feel like there's just going to be some really good energy floating in through July. Cancer is really a, an emotional uh, sign. And Leo is at the end of July. And so I feel just... Um, uh, empowerment but I, I feel like the ones who are already in love and are already with um, their mates that's just going to be a renewed love just just a renewed energy of love and that's something we need to focus on when we're in a relationship is to focus on rebirthing that love don't let it get old and stale there's ways to rebirth it just focus on love nothing else don't worry about what the outcome's going to be. Yep, spirit definitely likes that. Now, I'm getting that someone in this group who's listening perhaps is having difficulty moving forward with someone new in their life only for the I, I'm getting that they're fearing that they're going to get hurt again now this could be for the Sun Taurus this could be moon or rising Taurus but I'm feeling that you're afraid to move forward and I am just getting that this is related 
to the past, not just your past re relations, but it's going back a bit and you're uh, going back further uh, when you're when you were a child. Perhaps you've come from a broken family or you were abandoned, but I'm just feeling that it's okay to move forward. Now, this doesn't have to be one person. This could be many of you because most of us have come from some codependent type of energy, not all of us, but nobody's perfect and um you know a lot of us were unconscious we're not as conscious that we weren't as conscious back then as we are today um, i'm getting drinking somebody's drinking somebody's drinking i feel that this somebody's going to um I feel somebody needs help with drinking here. I feel there's, because of the drinking, because it's either drinking or drugs, it's one of the two. Uh, it could even be prescription drugs, but I feel like it's just out of hand and I feel like it's pulling the two of you apart, okay? Or maybe you've already separated, but I, but I feel like that person needs help. Well, I'm getting here that there is a, a trip, uh, a trip here, and I feel like this is this is a, a trip with someone that you love. I feel you're actually going on this trip with a mate or someone you are interested in. They may even just be a friend right now, but I feel like the 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 retreat is very open. Um, actually, it's a, a, a retreat that can be. Uh, romantic or, or turn out to be romantic wow it's I, I feel like it's a good trip here and there's a lot of attraction between the two of you now children came up here and I feel like maybe um, maybe the man that you're dating or going with on this trip has children perhaps they're coming maybe they're not um, I also feel like that maybe there's a retreat for some of you who have children that are, are going to some type of uh, event and uh, you're bringing the children and, and maybe you're actually flirting or meeting someone on this trip. What I'm getting from spirit here too is I, I just feel, Torians, that... Um, you know, for especially for your for you singles that who have been waiting. Now it's not going to happen for all of you, but I do feel good relationships beginning. I'm getting even for a lot of the signs uh, that I've read for July. It's really July is such a beautiful. I'm just feeling such beautiful energy, uh, a wonderful opportunity to um, to meet someone that you can have a relationship with. I'm really feeling that strongly for July. You know, I just want to pull a couple other cards. You know, I keep bringing, getting up this healing. Okay, it seems like somebody's daughter. Well, maybe this is what it has to do with the children. I'm getting somebody's daughter or somebody's little girl here that needs healing. Hmm. What's that on spirit? Okay, well, maybe what's happening is she's, uh, maybe she's upset because she's leaving. Um, she, maybe she's leaving her neighborhood, her leaving her friends. I feel like this is something um, that has to do with a move. I feel like it has to do with something with a move. Okay, I'm going to shuffle the Whispers of Love cards and see what the message here uh, from the Angels of Love. What are the messages for Taurus July 2016?
Ooh, true love. Okay, so the first card here is spend some quality time together. And I feel like that it doesn't necessarily have to do with the retreat. You could be actually just home and barbecuing or just having a little get together. And I feel like it's it's good enough, you know. It's I think that, that some of you may be working a lot too. You need to slow down and spend some time with your loved ones. Okay, because it's really important to spend quality time with each other. You know, it, it's important to listen. It's important to express yourself. This card here has got to do with true love. So I really feel like a lot of you Torians are going to come out with a mate this month in July. I, I'm really hoping you are. Okay, let's not look for perfection. Let's look for love. Let's look for the good in people. Okay, so that you can find love. Don't be afraid to take a step towards an opportunity. That's what I'm feeling, okay? So uh, what this card says here, this love is once in a lifetime love, but that's what I'm talking about. Look for the good in, in, in people and focus on love and you will find someone um, Not all of you, but uh, you will find a mate this way. This will help you open up the doors um, to have more of an opportunity to find someone. And this card is the only thing that is real is love. Absolutely. And when you focus on love, you are, are steered away from the problem. Just continue to focus on love. Love is... It has many avenues, but love is love. It's unconditional. It'll help you heal, okay? And it will help direct you towards your mate. Don't focus on the physicality. Don't focus about what he or she may be doing as a career. Focus on love. And let it flow in. Let the universe help you. Let the universe direct you in love. Try not to control it so much. I'm, I'm really serious. Try not to control it so much. Okay, Taurus, it was great to connect. If you would like a personal reading, you can reach me at www.transformationandempowerment.com. That's all spelled out. Uh, it's also listed below this video. Please listen to your moon and rising sign as this reading may resonate or may not resonate with you and perhaps maybe your moon or rising will resonate or have additional messages for you. Great to connect. I'm grateful to all you Torians who are listening to my video. I wish you a beautiful July. Much love and blessings.